can't have the yawns. I'm so bummed that you didn't bring me Starbucks. I was like <laughs> counting on it. Failure. Today we're talking about how to sit the trot like a pro. Like which pro? I don't know. Like multiple pros. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch a few videos is of this pros our lean riding. In? The lean in. Yeah, you gotta like lean in. Okay, I'm on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch a few videos of pros riding, and then try to replicate that when Jess rides Billy. I'm wait. I'm riding. Yeah. Okay. I'm riding Billy. Get like ready. Like a pro. Like a pro. Let's watch on a good it. video, ready? Let's watch it. So this video is Ava Muller riding Vivaldi. Ava I didn't know she even wrote it. She's written everyone, that's good. What do you notice? Well, first of all, she uses like her pelvis and her body to really like sit in the seat. And her hands are higher than when you ride some of the young horses. So I, I, I wonder, agree, like really bend the elbows and, and then. And I've seen her ride younger horses before and she keeps her hands a little bit lower. Although actually with Valverde last week, she was riding like that too. So you see that even when she's asking for more, all the power and the impulsion comes from like her seat, not really her legs or her upper body. Right. Level. I think also with her, sometimes you can see like the the elbow's really bent, the shoulder is down, and then the wrist almost really, comes down. She's like really it's like, straight in her body. Right. So look at her shoulders and look at where her toes and her heels are. They're like really in line. You yeah, and then the shoulders sometimes back behind the hips. You almost see no movement in her body unless you're really trying. But her, here hold this, her hands are completely up. I think like that. She's like she's not riding like this. No, she, but the shoulder is down. And then let's see how further how far back her elbows are. It's actually her elbows are just here. They're not that far yeah. back either. She just keeps her hands kind of loose and right on top of the withers. Okay, my turn. Where are you going? <clears throat> Isabel Worth, the best, the champion. This is Who's Isabel Worth in 2017. Schooling, Stand By Me, which is the worst I've never heard of. Me I always think Isabel looks like a sloppy rider, but she's so effective. Like she's not someone I'm like, I want to ride like Isabel. But then like, the more I am in the sport, the more I'm like, she's so effective. She sits on her butt. Yeah, she sits totally different, huh? Yeah. She's getting it done. See, but it almost has this look to it that like her she like sits on her butt like it's like her let's see butt is the most connected and it's, it's less like the energy is really uh, on her seat and she keeps her shoulders way further back and her right. arms are more out and bit. closer to her body right it's different. Ava's are up here and hers look like it's this. different the other thing is, this is like a schooling video, and that's a little bit more of a show video. But it's still interesting. But I agree with I you. I don't think she would ride that much different, though. I mean, it's just a totally different position. Yeah. But there's zero movement between her and the seat. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. It's like she's one with the saddle. Okay, is it my <laughs> turn now? Your turn to ride? No, my turn to pick. Pick another? You're going with another one? You going with Hester Dujardin, one of I the greats? I was not. I was going with Carl Hester. Hester? Okay. Everdale, known as Spooky McSpooks. Oh, he was five years old here, so that's a good video to watch because it's a young horse and... Yeah. Wait, I'm going to pause it. Don't you think that at some point we should talk about how riding a young horse is totally different than how you ride a trained horse? Yeah. Okay, so let's... He's not sitting the trot, but still so different, he's huh? Riding. Oh, he's so proper in his position, though. Like, he's that like is a, great. He's like a beautiful rider. 
yeah, but yeah, see yeah. that the position is completely different. Oh, that's an interesting video to watch. And you can see that Everdale's hot, hot, and just like really wants to go, and he's trying to use his posting to control the tempo and the energy of the horse. Yeah. But look at his shoulders. Look how like vertical he stays. Same thing. He really bends the elbow. Like but his Ava. hands are up as well. M right. High, much higher up than Ava's. See, Ava's he, were right he, on top yeah, of the. Yeah, but that's like the shoulders down and then bending the, the and elbows see, and hands And he's together, using right? a lot of cues to tell the horse, you're okay. You know, he does the, you're okay. Right. Ooh, spicy. He's, he's such a spicy horse. I know so many people have gotten bucked off of Everdale. So, oh, well, we didn't know that this was coming. Now I like the video even more. Because <laughs> now it's like how to keep the horse with you. <laughs> Round two. Mm. Look at him. He just like totally recovers his cool, pets him again, and tells him, you're fine. Oh, that looks like a ho tip, hard horse to It ride, is interesting huh? when they're running that much for him to stay that vertical in his position he stays that's, vertical in his position that's a good learning for you balanced. when you have a horse that runs like that yeah. to see how he just doesn't let the horse kind of run away with him all right let's give it a try with you ready to ride yeah that you teach me to sit the track All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna start out riding like Carl Hester, just exactly like him. Then if he has a moment where he like loses his shit, <laughs> you just ride it exactly like Carl. Then we're gonna go Ava Moeller, and then Isabel Wirth. <laughs> Think like Carl. There you go, yeah. Elbows bent, hands up. There you go. Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's great. Look like Carl Hester. <laughs> you got the look, I think. <laughs> yeah, but the elbows bent and more together. There you go. Elbows bent and a little hands up. They're good. Then you got to get your shoulders down a little bit. They're good. And then forward, up. Good. All right, what's the, what does it feel like to ride like Carl? I feel like Carl would cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to try anyway. He does, you're right though, he does ride super proud. You know what I didn't do in my ride as Carl? I noticed that in the ride, he rides um, Everdale with much shorter reins. Now he's only a five-year-old and he's super hot and spooky, so I wonder if that's why, but that's something to kind of notice, don't you think? For sure. Like the reins are really short in that horse. Yeah, and the hand forward. The hands forward. Yeah. Whereas like, Isabel has the reins a little bit longer and the hands closer to her body. Right, 100%. Okay, where am I going? Who am I now? Who, who do you want to be? <laughs> Ava? Should I dare say Isabel? Yeah, go for Isabel, it. Isabel, I'm sorry if you're watching. Totally different. Like, it's totally different than Carl. Carl's so proud, like the back is arched. Like right. And Isabel is like the opposite. Like, sits and like yeah. really sits on her butt. Isn't that interesting? Isabel, if you're watching this video or somebody ever sends it to you, I apologize in advance. <laughs> <laughs> and if they do send you this video... <laughs> Call me. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, what about the rain length? Do the canner. She has longer reins. Okay. You're right. The hands a little bit wide. The reins long. Elbows. Good. Back. Yeah, good. A little more taut. Good. Try in the canner. Try Isabelling in the canner. Good. Sit back. There. Oh, hands a little wide. Remember how she had, had her hands kind of wide? I stopped him, sorry. Okay, ready? Together and canter. Good. Hands wide. 
Yeah, make your hands even wider. There you go. Good. Yeah. Into the saddle. There, yeah. Then you gotta get him up on the vertical. Yeah, good. And forward. Go. Good. In the video we chose for Ava, she's like really going for it. Like it's like in a stallion show. So she's trying to get the horse to trot like as much as possible. So you need like a little whip that you can touch him on the hind leg, get him up and together, tighten your girth. And then like start in the, in the rising trot that you really get him, like think rising a little bit like Carl or like how Ava does, where you get him up together in front of you onto the snaffle rein. Then really get him going though. Connected. He's got to be connected. I'm going to start rising trot. Okay. I'm just going to try and bust it. Okay. okay. Elbows bent, right? Shoulders yeah, down. Keeps her elbows close. Her body and her hands up and together, yeah? Yeah. Go or forward. Just, or I'll just be off. Oh, you'll just be off. <laughs> Good. Go. Up. Yeah. Up and back. Little half halt, little touch of the whip. Half halt. Touch. Good. On the snaffle. He's got to come up a little bit more. Good. And back. Little touch of the whip. Good. Your hands need, your reins need to be shorter and he needs to be, ah, that's good there. What's it like to ride like those guys? I think first of all, I apologize to all three riders because I butchered <laughs> your riding, but it comes from a good place. So let's start there. Number two, I think I felt more comfortable riding like Carl because he has like more style like I have style. <laughs> but I would prefer to ride like Ava because she rides like a boss. Yeah. Isabel's just too hard to sit. Isabel's like impossible. Yeah, I know what she does, but it's yours. It's your it's trade. Isabel. We will not copy it. <laughs> the we queen. Hail to you. <laughs> <laughs> true or false? Yeah, it's totally true. But I do, like honestly watching you, I think it's super effective and I think it's underutilized to watch type riders and just try to mimic that Even and incorporate pieces, it in. Even some pieces, some yeah. pieces. You don't have to mimic everything, but you 100%. can watch yourself ride and be like, like you did the other day and you're like, shit, I ride with my hands like way too low or something. Yeah. Like, should I be riding with my hands higher up? Maybe, I mean, have you tried and does it make a difference or, you right. know? Right, yeah. Because you have kind of your own way of riding that's My like own style. yeah cowboy style yeah cowboy dressage style all right guys we'll wait see. when's your version oh, another time okay joe's version coming up another time yeah thanks for watching thanks for watching check out our merch store so you can buy hats and stuff there's some cool stuff there lots of cool stuff and like and subscribe yeah, why does it a lot of people subscribe? Most of your viewers don't subscribe. What's up with that? I know. I don't know what's up with that. And you, there's a little bell. And there, the bell is interesting because if you want to email anytime we drop a video, you click the little bell next to the subscribe button. And if you're getting a comment and it's mean, I will delete it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensitive about my writing. All right. Peace, guys. <laughs>